here today with Andrew Malcolm, Chief Digital Officer at Austal. Austal is Australia's premier defence and fast ferry builder serving the global market. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning. Look, it's a, it's a long-standing partnership, I would call it, and uh, it survives uh, a very challenging time zone uh, difference between uh, between Canada and Australia as well. Um, but I think part of the the, the spirit of, of what the two companies bring is always uh, pushing new concepts and and really uh, listening to each other in terms of what's possible, um, but also sort of what's required. And, and the customer focus. It's, it's something that, that Austin strives for is, is the focus on our customers and, and SI supply brings that as well. Um, so we've we've been on a journey and we continue to be on a journey as, as the as the capability of the technology evolves. Uh, but I think it's it's really just thinking uh, and clearly thinking about customer requirements. Hostel's uh, PLM journey has, has been a long and uh, an interesting one. Um, clearly, the functionality that the PLMs provide is, is critical. And uh, we've made do with uh, various uh, solutions that we've put together in-house for many years, both here in Australia and, and in our US business as well. But it became in increasingly clear as, as the complexity of, of, our, of our shipbuilding uh, scope was, was increasing, that we needed a, a professional solution that integrated very tightly with, with that CAD system, um, but also integrated with the other key systems within the business. And uh, we're currently uh, underway with a, a major change out of our corporate ERP system um, and making sure that that has a, a clear interface into the PLM has been key. So when we selected our SSI's PLM tool, the uh, really, really one of the, the key, key uh, factors was that tight integration into the uh, CAD tool as well. We have been exploring alternatives and we're finding them to be um, not uh, sufficiently customized for the shipbuilding problem as it stands as a, as a distinct type of manufacturing. Um, generic sort of PLMs really uh, didn't uh, allow us to customize uh, the requirements that we needed. And with SSI, we, we, we found a partner who, who deeply understands why shipbuilding is different and why it's not production line manufacturing, this is not a bottling plant, um, and was able to link that, the uh, the CAD tool together with the with the PLM in a way that we would have to have done ourselves separately if we were bringing two separate tools together. Our Austral digital transformation goals are really to ensure uh, that we can build any design, uh, anywhere. And historically, uh, Austin has always been an integrated ship designer, uh, ship builder, and ship sustainer of our own vessels. Um, and we'll continue to do that in the future. But as we spread into to more geographic locations, where we're now in, obviously, the, the shipyards here in, in uh, Henderson and in Mobile in, in, in the US, uh, but the Philippines and Vietnam as well, uh, we're increasingly building a greater variety of vessels and not just hostile designs, but we're now building uh, third-party designs and we're seeking to uh, support and maintain those vessels through life, um, but also to support other vessels as well. So the digital transformation really is about increasing the, the, uh, the flexibility that we can, uh, that we can use uh, the digital tools to support our operational businesses uh, and to broaden that across all time zones and, 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 and multiple country uh, geographies. Uh, so our first phase has been very focused on uh, standing up the, the, the CAD platform integrated with the PLM, um, but then demonstrating that, that flow of data into the ERP. Uh, the most significant milestone for us in this first phase is actually the, the ERP system itself uh, going live. And uh, control of, of data, uh, standardization of data, and, uh, and, and making sure we, we have uh, parts libraries uh, linked to all of our supplier information. That, that's really been a key focus for, for our first phase uh, of work. Um, as a shipyard, we have many ongoing programs. The, uh, the shipyard doesn't stop to wait for a digital uh, change or a change in application set. So 
Um, this first phase is really uh, set up to support the existing programs within the ERP and position ourselves for the next program that kicks off as a, as a clean, clean uh, new design and, and a new shipbuilding plan where we'll roll that through the, the PLM in the second phase. SSI uh, can, can really support Austal in uh, improving that flexibility. And um, I think when we look at how important it is to uh, control the flow of information through the design process into our suppliers, into our, into our, our workforce who's, who's building the product, um, and beyond that, into our customers. And customers now deeply care about the digital ship as well as the physical ship, um, particularly our naval customers. Um, the, the delivery of, of that digital information alongside the keys to the vessel is critical. And so with the, the advent of the, the PLM system, the shipbuilding PLM integrated into our CAB platform um, and into our ERP platform, um, really our, our focus can, can shift into how do we ensure control of that data and, and delivery of a quality digital ship to our, to our, uh, our customers.